Hello friends, Tormentic here, and today we're going to talk about Mike's statement that he made on Bailey's Whatnot uh, stream earlier this evening. I know I haven't really made a lot of MetaZoo content, there hasn't really been a lot of MetaZoo content to make. This is the first time I feel that we've had any sort of real, like, substance, any sort of a real statement, pretty much since the letter we got on January 29th. I try not to deal with rumors or whatnot, so I haven't really touched on a lot. There's been so much over the last couple of months, though. And um, this was, like I said, the first time I felt like we got any sort of real information. So I'll play the clip, and then we'll kind of go over it and break it down. I'll be honest with you, it kind of brings up more questions than answers. But uh, anyway, here we go. Let me see. Boom. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, guys. Um, How you doing, man? Not bad. Thanks for having me on. Um, so, yeah, I apologize for the lack of communication over the past three months. Um, I was told not to communicate. Um, when I left the company three months ago, I was told that it was going to be going through a bankruptcy process. Um through which uh, things would be liquidated and creditors would be paid back via that liquidation. Clearly that hasn't happened. Um, and we are getting reports of product being dumped that shouldn't be dumped. We are getting reports of unreleased product somehow showing up at big box without that money uh, showing up in the proper bank accounts. Um, and we are getting reports of eBay sales of grails and things that were never released to the public. And none of that money, as far as I know, is going to creditors, to people who put in pre-orders to companies that uh, had money that, or, or, you know, did business with us and never, you know, got paid for, for certain services or products or whatever. Typically, in a bankruptcy process, things are liquidated and uh, these creditors are paid back to the extent that they can be. Again, clearly that hasn't been happening. So I, I'm stepping in and I'm going to put an end to all that. And at the very least, uh, we're going to get as many creditors paid back as possible. Um, and failing that, you know, failing the ability to bring MetaZoo's debt down to zero and keeping MetaZoo open, then we're sure as hell we're going to file properly and legally for bankruptcy and make sure that this is done properly through the courts. Um, I'm going to force the issue because three months have gone by, nothing's happened, and this is ridiculous. And this could have been a really easy thing. Um, and I'm putting a stop to it. So that's all I have to say. Uh, I know that Bailey has other things to say. Um, feel free to, to stay and, and hear him talk. Um, Bailey, I'll, I'll leave the rest to you, man. Awesome, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Let me see here. I don't know how to exit out of the thing, so you have to take me off. I got you. So that was the full clip um, and statement, in essence, that Mike made tonight on Bailey's Whatnot stream. Um, I will say that I was kind of surprised that Mike actually showed up and had a camera on and everything. Um, I know that he's been kind of laying low the last couple of months. He even said that he wasn't even really able to talk about everything that had been going on the last couple of months. Um, he didn't specifically say he was under a gag order or anything, but it just sounded like he had been told, don't, don't talk anything. There's a lot of litigation stuff going on because of the, the basically the bankruptcy of MetaZoo. I thought it was kind of odd that this statement was made on Bailey's whatnot. Um, I know that Mike has his own Instagram account. I know that he has other socials too. I know he has other ways of getting information or a statement out. But it was just it was just strange to me that he made that statement on whatnot. But anyway, regardless, Mike starts out basically talking about how he was basically he walked away three months ago from the company. He said that he left the company three months ago and was told that the company was going to be going through bankruptcy. Um, there's some discretion on whether he actually was, like, he actually left the company or if he was let go. Um, I will say that the letter that he actually gave out on the 29th, I'm pretty confident that it was an off-the-cuff letter that he had released. No one had any idea that he was actually about to announce that or release any of it, staff, other stuff like that. 
I've heard of other instances of him actually releasing information or promising stuff like that off the cuff as well, too. So I, I, I don't know that maybe that might have been why he wasn't really able to talk about anything that had been going on the last couple months and also why he actually had to separate from the company in general because you would think that he would be heading up the bankruptcy, that he would actually be seeing everything sold and, and liquidated and stuff like that. But it was just odd that he, he separated as soon as that letter was, was released. To his knowledge, the company was supposed to go through bankruptcy. Things were supposed to be liquidated. They were supposed to be paying back uh, debtors. That includes companies that actually weren't able to be paid, like Bear Walker. Uh, that was uh, potentially some of the cons that I've heard that actually weren't able to be paid as well. On top of uh, maybe paying the Dark Tower players, other stuff like that. And actually getting money back to people who pre-ordered product that would no longer receive it because as of January 29th, according to that letter, MetaZoo was ceasing operations. Now, this part actually happened later on in Bailey's Discord. I thought this was interesting. Bailey says that he has text message proof that shows that Mike transferred money into an account in order to pay Dark, Power, uh, Dark Tower players a week or so after Dark Tower was finished and that money was never distributed to the players. I have not been uh, paid at all for Dark Tower or anything like that. I don't know of any other players that have actually been paid. But the next part of the the whole statement is kind of what he was allu like alluding to a little bit, like in regards to that. He was talking about how product has flooded the market, that there was uh, unreleased promos that have actually been uh, distributed, that there's stuff on eBay that actually shouldn't be actually available to the public because it wasn't actually ever released. He was talking about unreleased product that was at big box stores, and the only thing I can honestly think of that he would be referring to would be maybe the fabled pink um, Karomi's box that we never actually saw when it was first released back in November. Those pink boxes have actually been showing up um, in like stores like Five Below. So I, I do know that some of that stuff is now trickling out into the market. So when he was talking about unreleased promos, stuff like that, I, he was referring to, in my opinion, to the Ambassador Beasties. Because only two of them had ever been released when the game was current. And since the 29th, when we actually got that letter, we've seen, I believe, almost all of the Ambassador Beasties at some point, either on YouTube or on Instagram. Now, I will say that I don't know where those came from. I don't know how they acquired them. But some of those were already in circulation prior to the announcement on the 29th because they had given some of those promos that had never been released. I remember how it was it created an uproar. They were, gave some of those promos that had not been released to the public as prize support. MetaZoo proper gave them to them to use for prize support. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence when it comes to that because they had already, they had already released some of them and now there's more in circulation. It all for all we know, it honestly could be like people have held had these things for a minute, and now that the company's gone, they decided they're actually going to start showing these off. Now I'm not defending Mike or anybody that actually would give out unreleased product, but we also do know though. I would assume that some of the staff had to have had some of the stuff that was given to them before the the company actually was was dissolved. The next part of his statement was probably, in my opinion, the most odd because he was talking about stepping in to, I guess, take charge to figure out what was exactly going on. But if he left the company three months ago, I don't know how he can do that. I don't know, especially if the company, the way it is right now, I don't know how he'd be able to step in to be able to fix whatever is actually going on. Um, I, I've reached out to Mike. I've sent him messages on Discord. I've texted him a couple times, and I haven't gotten any response. Um, especially when Bailey posted a thing earlier this week about how MetaZoo had been sold and it was going to come back, and it was all it, the rumor mill was flying. I messaged Mike and was like, "Hey, is there any validity to this? Is there is there any truth?" And and nothing, crickets. So I don't know how he's going to be able to come back in into that role to be able to fix anything now he was he started talking about coming back to do that to pay off debtors the the people that they owe money to and it was interesting because he said if if they can't bring the debt to zero to continue then they're going to have to initiate a bankruptcy so does that mean they're trying to pay off the debtors in order to bring the 
the company solvent to move forward? Or are they, is he going to go in there to just get the bankruptcy rolling? Because according to him, three months ago when he left, he was told that the company was going to be going bankrupt, that they were filing bankruptcy. But we haven't been able to find any sort of filing or anything whatsoever about that. But then he said if they can't absolve all the debts, they're going to claim bankruptcy. So I, like that, that's why I was saying at the beginning, like this honestly was kind of more confusing and added more questions than answers, really, in my opinion. Now, take what Mike said with a grain of salt. Uh, you take it however you want to take it. I would be interested to actually see some sort of a response or a statement, maybe from either Andy Shaw or Aoki. I know that a lot of people don't like Andy, but at this point, this minute, two minute long statement from Mike is the first thing that we've actually heard publicly from anyone that had really anything up at the top to do with MetaZoo. And I applaud Mike, honestly, for coming on and, and saying these things. But at the same time, I really kind of the entire time got the feeling that he was blaming somebody else for what was going on and, and the failures. And I just, I, ever, all of this is still super sad. I never thought last year that in, in April, May of 2024, that I'd be talking about the, the, the death of the bankruptcy of MetaZoo. And I just wish that for once we would get some sort of honest statement about what exactly was going on and not what ifs and or this person or, oh, well, what if we do this or maybe that or soon? Like, just something. If the company is going to go bankrupt and you are filing bankruptcy and that is the plan, then make that the plan. Don't say things like, if we can get rid of the debt and bring it back to zero, then maybe it can continue. Because all that's going to do is just create this hope for people that this thing's coming back. Because this universe that was created, MetaZoo, this community, that was, it, was, it was huge. It was amazing. There's so many great people. There's, there's the whole idea and concept of this game, of this IP, I still love. But you can't, you can't do that. Either it has to be one way or the other. Either you're full steam ahead trying to save this thing, to bring it back, even if that means selling it to someone else, or you're full on in on bankruptcy. And you're trying to dissolve everything and liquidate everything in order to get people paid, in order to get the, the companies that made product for you like Bear Walker or Jet, who actually made the, never got paid for PFP 2.0. Like, those things need to be priority. Those things need to be addressed. Those things are what we should be talking about, not name, like throwing people under the bus or saying, oh, well, because we saw a picture of product actually in a dumpster, we're going to start investigating. Well, where were you the last three months? And I understand you couldn't talk about it, but nothing, nothing for the last three months at all from anyone really and i'm just like i just i don't even i don't even know to be honest with you i just i just don't i don't even know at the end of the day it's just still heartbreaking the entire scenario everything about it and i just wish we would get some sort of a straight answer but my name is Tremantic, and um, yeah, uh, I, I, I'll see. Uh, I'll see you guys later.